Boy, they got their money's worth for the home opener at Fenway Park today. Yeah, it was a little bit cold out there, but it was worth it. Four hours, but it just ended seconds ago. Let's get to Steve Burton. He's live on Lansdowne tonight at the House of Blues. What an ending to an incredible game, Steve. You know, it's a good thing these two teams are playing tomorrow because this game took forever to play. But it was an incredible ending. The Red Sox came back big time, big time in the uh, extra inning. So, Hanley Ramirez was the hero. Bases loaded. He has one to the warning track. That unloads them. Red Sox win it by a score of 3-2. to two. This, came, this game came down to the final at bat in the extra innings. Hanley Ramirez just comes through in a big way. Red Sox and the fans are floating out of Fenway Park as we speak. They come up with a huge win on opening day. So the Red Sox extend their winning streak to now six games. I want to bring in Michael Cross. Michael? Steve, it Take was, it away, my friend, Steve, because it's been a great day here. It you has can been, see right? The people pour out of Fenway now. People left about an hour and a half ago. They don't know what they missed. People arrived here early. I don't need to tell you. It was windy. It was cold. And if you weren't in the sun, it was particularly cold right now as well. What we're doing is we're showing the winning play. Henry Ramirez okay. comes through. Oh, all right, Base is loaded. Hits one to the warning track. Red Sox able to come in, come by and score. And let me tell you, they sent Tampa Bay home. Losing again, but this is a big win for the Red Sox. And you know what? These are teams they're supposed to beat, Mike. Certainly, Steve. And uh, I can tell you, it's really exciting to be here at Fenway Park. Either way, and on the home opener, we saw tons of fans that got here hours, hours ago, ready to make some milestones. Take a look at these excited fans. Baseball is back in Boston, bringing the sights, sounds, Get your peanuts here. and smells to Fenway Park. And hot off the grill, Boston tradition, guys. The Sox taking on the Rays, the home opener atmosphere on an April afternoon, a tradition too tempting for these diehard fans to miss. We're just glad to be here, part of being part of Fenway Park. We're on spring break there, and. Uh, I said, let's go to Mexico or somewhere warm, and they wanted to come to a Red Sox game. And they, like so many others, brought their layers. They told me it was going to be cold, so uh, I dressed like I'm going ice fishing. Opening day allowing for many milestones. One couple getting married on Yankee Way as some fans experience their first game ever. Oh, I'm wicked excited. This is on my bucket list, one of the things to do. This is great. Mark Fredrickson is attending his 50th Red Sox home opener. His mom took him out of school for his first one when he was in fifth grade. He's been coming ever since. It's like coming home after being away for a long time. Every year when I come here, I can't wait to see the grass. It's unnaturally green at this time of year. Uh, every season brings new hope. And Steve, a fan we spoke to, this was his 50th consecutive wow. home opener. Before he told Fantastic. me his favorite was back in 05 after they beat the Yankees following the World Series win in 04. I talked to him a little while ago, and he says this game is now up there because it came down to the very end. Yeah, it came down to the very end. It came down to extra innings, but the Red Sox certainly got it done. That's the story here at Fenway Park. We'll have much more coming up in sports. In the meantime, guys, back to you. All right, Steve, thank you. So they came back and tied it in the ninth, right. won it in the 12th. They started the season now 6-1, and one, and uh, who knows, maybe it's a special team this Pretty year. Pretty good. Fantastic. Very good.